This is my reading of D.H. Lawrence's poem, Mountain Lion. Climbing through the January snow into the Lobo Canyon, dark grow the spruce trees, blue is the balsam, water sounds still unfrozen, and the trail is still evident. Men, two men, Men, the only animal in the world to fear. They hesitate. We hesitate. They have a gun. We have no gun. Then we all advance to meet. Two Mexicans, strangers, emerging out of the dark and snow and inwardness of the Lobo Valley. What are they doing here on this vanishing trail? What is he carrying? Something yellow? A deer? Katiana amigo? Leon? He smiles foolishly as if he were caught doing wrong. And we smile foolishly as if we didn't know. He is quite gentle and dark-faced. It is a mountain lion. A long, long, slim cat. Yellow like a lioness dead. He trapped her this morning, he says, smiling foolishly. Lift up her face, her round, bright face, bright as frost, her round, fine-fashioned head with two dead ears, and stripes in the brilliant frost of her face, sharp, fine, dark rays, dark, keen, fine rays in the brilliant frost of her face, beautiful dead eyes, hermoso es. They go out towards the open. We go out into the gloom of Lobo, and above the trees I found her lair, a hole in the blood orange brilliant rocks that stick up a little cave, and bones and twigs and a perilous ascent. So she will never leap up that way again with the yellow flash of a mountain lion's long shoot. And her bright striped frost face will never watch anymore out of the shadow of the cave in the blood orange rock above the trees of the Lobo Dark Valley mouth. Instead, I look out, and out to the dim of the desert, like a dream, never real, to the snow of the Sangre de Crisco Mountains, to the ice of the mountains of Picoris, and near across at the opposite steep of snow, green trees motionless, standing in snow like a Christmas toy. And I think in this empty world there was room for me and a mountain lion. And I think in the world beyond how easily we might spare a million or two humans and never miss them. Yet what a gap in the world, the missing white frost face of that slim yellow mountain lion.